So in this video, I want to talk about the autonomic innervation of the bladder. So when we are in the rest and digest mode, when the parasympathetic nervous system is activated, we want to urinate. So how can we urinate? Well, when we look at here at our bladder, this is the detrasor muscle that is lining the bladder. So if you want to urinate, the detrasor muscle needs to contract so that the urine can come out. Importantly, the sphincter here, the internal sphincter, need to relax because otherwise the urine cannot come out through the urethra. In contrast, when the sympathetic nervous system is activated, when we are on a fight and flight and run away from the lion, now there is no time to urinate. Therefore, we want to relax the detrasor as much as we can to be able to fill the bladder with urine. And the sphincter needs to be closed, that there is no urine coming out. So therefore, the detrasor needs to relax as much as it can, and the sphincter needs to contract. So which receptors are mediating these responses? Let's start with the activation of the sympathetic nervous system. We know in terms of smooth muscle contraction and relaxation, we have two receptors that mediate these opposing effects. We know that the major receptor that mediates smooth muscle contraction upon stimulation of the sympathetic nervous system is an alpha-1 receptor because it's GQ coupled. In contrast, the receptor that mediates smooth muscle relaxation in the sympathetic nervous system is beta-2 or also beta-3. GS coupled receptors. Therefore, we can predict as we need to relax the detrasor muscle, this needs to be a beta 2 mediated effect. And in fact, we also find a lot of beta 3 receptors on the detrasor muscle of the bladder. Then the sphincters, as they need to contract, this needs to be an alpha 1 effect. Alpha 1 is GQ coupled, which mediates smooth muscle contraction. So we are already done with the sympathetic nervous system that mediates the retention of the urine. So let's continue with the parasympathetic nervous system. We know we want to avoid when we are under rest and digest. So the detrasor needs to contract, so the distance between here and here needs to get smaller in order to get the urine out. The sphincters need to be relaxed when we want to avoid. So we also know that the effector functions of the parasympathetic nervous system are mediated by muscarinic receptors. M2 is on the heart, M3 everywhere else. So M3 mediates smooth muscle contraction. So therefore, the detrasor muscle that contracts is an M3 effect. However, the sphincter need to relax. As M3 receptor mediates smooth muscle contraction, this cannot be an M3 effect. And it turns out that it's probably mediated by different neurotransmitters. It's not going to be an cholinergic effect. It might be an NO-mediated effect. Nitric oxide is a signaling molecule that is involved in smooth muscle relaxation and might be responsible for sphincter relaxation upon parasympathetic nervous system activation. This concludes the video on the autonomic innovation of the bladder.